What is up guys and welcome back to our second pre-con 6pm content video of the day. Second early video, we have Lars Stindl player of the month. Price wise for him is around the 40k mark. We've also got Bruno Fernandes on the channel so go check that out and subscribe if you need it. Uh, so Lars Stindl wise, we can't actually look at his in games for some reason, that's not working. So uh, we're gonna have to just go off of a round figure of face value stats for now. Pace obviously isn't great. But you definitely could use a cam style to boost it up to an acceptable uh, range for a cam. The, the sort of high 70s, I would say, is acceptable for a cam in uh, in my experience as a FIFA this year. Shooting the 89 is very nice, and passing all around at 86 is very nice, as is the dribbling. Defending, obviously, not very important on him. Physicals are a little bit low. We'll see what the stam is actually like from within that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a decent looking card, definitely. Um, in terms of his weak foot skill moves, it's a four star, four star on him, which is obviously pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's nothing glaringly obviously that stands out to be horrid, like horrifically bad on this card. So yeah, we shall see. But in terms of the uh, solution for him, he's an 82 and an 83. The 82, they're both about 20k. The second one's about 22k, maybe. Uh, the first one, you need a Team of the Week player. Taremi is my choice for this. Um, he's in this week's current Team of the Week. There are about four players that are all discard 81s. So, um, yeah, go pick any one of them up, depending on when you're doing this, because obviously it's in for a month. Like I say, always check your current team of the week. Check your club because you might have an, you might have one in there that you've completely forgotten about. Stick him in, save yourself 10k. Uh, if not, then uh, yeah, he look at your current team of the week. See if there is anyone from that that is probably really cheap. So yeah, Taremi is currently that one. You also need a glad back player. Player uh, is my choice for here. Lema is another 80. There are a few 80 rated that are all under a k. So definitely worth picking one of those guys up if you need them. Outside of that, it is a Le Ligan sign, so I'll run through the player names. So we have Eitor, Taremi, Gabriel Paulista, Gianne, Kukurela, Kukurea, uh, Rakitic, Player, Ocampos, Marco Sancho, Canales, and Paco Alcacer. So there you go, that is the Gladbach one done. Second one, Bundesliga, like I said, 20, maybe 22K. For this one, you need a Bundesliga player, Radecki. Go pick up any 83, but Radecki is as normally the cheapest. Castillo is another one. Um, the, the goalkeepers <laughs> are always the cheapest. Um, so yeah, uh, if you do need someone, have a look at him. Uh, a flexible pick in here as well. We've got 84 Pizzi. 84s are a little bit expensive right now, especially because of that Bruno, they have gone up but any 84 would do. So uh, yeah, the normal the normal sorts of guys. Um, Onana obviously is another option, but yeah, have a look if you don't have one in the club. Outside of that, it is a Serie A side, all base cards. So we'll run through the player names. So we have Strakosha, Paradeki, Manalas, Darun, Pizzi, Paul Lopez, Fabian, Nangalan, Perisic, Aramzi, Dzeko, and there you go, guys. That is it. That is your solution for Lars Stindl. Like I said, he is in for a month. Still not getting his in-game stats. Let me know if you're going to pick this card up. Is he going to go into your team? Or are you just going to use him because he's quite cheap as a backup in case there's a Bundesliga objective? Let me know in the comments down below. Smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys, like I said before, probably for some 6 p.m. content today. See you guys in a bit. Peace.